Ghanaian musician Black Sheriff is currently regretting ever disrespecting Nigeria. As, as I'm talking to you now, Black Sheriff is looking for ways to beg Nigerians for forgiveness. I don't know what is taking him so long. And the more he delays, the more his career will just be forgotten, the more everybody will forget about Black Sheriff ever existing, the more he will struggle and nothing will come out of his music. Nigeria don't give Black Sheriff Wutu Wutu. And Black Sheriff is not the first Ghanaian artist that has received Wutu Wutu from Nigeria. Nigerians have it in their spirit to support and love everybody. But when you come at Nigerians, when you disrespect Nigerians, you will definitely collect and receive Wutu Wutu from Nigerians. They don't compromise. They don't compromise. So don't disrespect Nigerians. Do not disrespect nigerians if you are a musician from ghana or from any african country and you want to be successful in the african continent with your music don't disrespect nigerians what happened why nigeria give black sheriff wutu wutu and what is black sheriff doing <laughs> make i narrate one of the story because this one goes sweet hello <laughs> this one goes sweet and i love it because eh, nigeria they use all these Ghanaians, they show example to other Ghanaians and africans who they try to disrespect nigeria i mean Nigeria is the most disrespected country in Africa. You and I agree. Yet, now Nigeria, they help all African countries. Nigeria is helping all African countries in one way or the other. But Nigerians are the most disrespected Africans. You go to Ghana, Ghanaians go disrespect Nigeria. Go to South Africa, South Africa go disrespect Nigeria. Go to Cameroon, they go disrespect Nigeria. Everywhere they go, they go talk rubbish about Nigeria. They go treat Nigeria as anyhow, talk about Nigeria as anyhow. Forgetting to know that the only reason why many of these African countries have a successful music industry they can sit today and brag that Africa has music is because of Nigeria. The only reason why they can sit and brag of many things in their country, including electricity, food, and many things in Ghana, is because of Nigeria. Cameroon, the same. The only reason why you brag that you have fuel, you have fuel in your country, Nigeria is the one giving you all the fuel you have in your country. Every single day, Nigeria, if Nigeria just decide one day, say, I, I, I've decided I will stop, I will stop being generous. I will stop being generous to all these African countries. Guess what we happen? Now that time, their eye go clear. And it looks like Nigeria has to take that decision before Africans will realize, especially Ghana, before they will realize that you have to know that Nigeria is very important for you. You understand? So Nigeria hasn't hesitated to give Black Sheriff Wutu Wutu. You know, how did this start? Black Sheriff was, first of all, his music career started and became successful because of the Nigeria fan base. Now, Nigeria made Black Sheriff successful because Black Sheriff was first of all signed under a Nigerian music label. You understand? Black Sheriff was working with Nigerians. A Nigeria was the one shooting Black Sheriff music video, all the video that was successful. Nigeria was the one producing Black Sheriff. He was under a marketing, marketing uh, deal with Nigerians. So they were the ones marketing and distributing his music, making sure that Black Sheriff music is streamed all over the world. Black Sheriff was streamed in Ghana, streamed in Nigeria. Even more, more people stream Black Sheriff in Nigeria than in Ghana. Black Sheriff had his highest success, his highest views from Nigeria. Nigerians are the ones that really gave him that push to make Black Sheriff a very big and successful musician in Africa. So Nigeria gave him that leverage, that coverage. I am not the only one. You understand? So Ghanaians now started using Black Sheriff to compare Nigeria. Started using Black Sheriff. The same Black Sheriff that Nigeria is the one building. Nigeria is the one helping. Nigeria is the one raising this same Black Sheriff. Ghanaians started using him to say, eh, Nigerians, we now have our own artist that is bigger than your own. They now started using Black Sheriff to say they have artists that can top chart in Africa, that can be bigger than Nigerian artists. That is Ghanaian mindset for you. Somebody will help you. Instead of you today grateful, you go turn the compete with the person. So, the thing is going to get worse as a group of people in Ghana, Ghanaians, you people are too ungrateful. A group of Ghanaians in the music industry, including some of their top musicians, they now sat together and came out with a document, came out with a group, said they have to go and meet the Ghanaian government. They went to the Ghanaian government, tried to force Ghana government to sign that bill and pass it into order that Ghanaians are not allowed to play Nigerian music. Yeah, that was what Ghanaian musicians did, though. A group of them, they come together, sat, had a meeting, drafted something, went to their government and said, government, sign that when there's festival in Ghana, they should not play any, any foreign music. They should not play Nigerian music in particular. You understand? So that everybody, every foreigner that is coming to Ghana for festival, the only music they will be playing is Ghana music, Ghana music, Ghana music, Ghana music. 
they carry that agenda to the Ghanaian government. As on the year, the Ghanaian government did not sign that agreement. It did not sign. That's why I see today, Ghana music, there's no unity amongst all of them. Black Sheriff, they're on their own side. At least he's learning now the art way. Shatawali, they're on his own side. Uh, the rapper, Sakodi, they're on his own side. Everybody just cut up because of the plan they cooked. Some of them were not in support. The plan now went and failed because the government did not sign. Because how can you ban foreign music? People are streaming from Spotify. People are streaming from Apple Music. How you ban it? How? How? Make it make sense. There's no country in the world now that can ban music. You cannot ban music. It's impossible. Just the fact that these Ghanaian musicians sat and the organizers, they thought that this could happen. It just show how mumu they be. How mumu they be. Music is on air, on the internet. How they want to ban them. So, Black Sheriff apparently was one of those people he was in support. He wanted that only his music, only Ghana music should be played. You understand? I don't know how Nigerians came to discover how Black Sheriff disrespect them with that kind of attitude. Nigeria came to discover and find out all the things that Black Sheriff did. Nigeria now say, okay, Black Sheriff, we go cancel you. We will not go play your music again for Nigeria. We are not going to be playing your music. We will no longer be streaming your songs. We will not invite you for shows. No patronization. Nothing, nothing for Black Sheriff. That is the downfall of Black Sheriff. Till today, as we are talking now, nobody knows if Black Sheriff they release new song or not. Nobody knows if Black Sheriff is an artist or Black Sheriff has become whatever. Nobody really knows. Nobody they see him again. It's over for Black Sheriff. It's completely over. And I blame Black Sheriff because he pretends to act as if he's not educated, he's not seen. Shatawale is a perfect example for any Ghanaian musician or any African musician. They could see what happened to Shata. If Shata could go back to Nigeria, apologize to Nigerians, try to gain back the law from Nigerians, then you know say Shata and Amawe get sense. You understand? So for Black Sheriff to do what he did, he deserved to receive Wutu Wutu. Nigeria supposed to give him Wutu Wutu Pro Max. Now Nigeria's doctors say they will never play Black Sheriff. Some of them are ever asking who is Black Sheriff. That's the question many Nigerians are asking now. So Black Sheriff, do the needful. Beg, apologize. Nigerians are lovely. Some of them will still forgive you. Go, they stream your song. And you go, they relevant again. It is what it is, guys. Your boy, Ajumaxi, on this one again. Come back anytime you're free. God bless you. Cheers.